this reading is all about you. Aquarius, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is my channel, Born Without Boundaries, and my name is Michelle. For those of you who are just discovering the channel, welcome. Please do help the channel grow. Click subscribe and ring that bell below. You'll know when I go live and when I upload all this great content. I love going live. Try to do it daily. Sometimes it doesn't happen that way, but you only know if you ring the bell. So. Uh, this is the Oracle and Tarot card reading. So over here on YouTube, I'm doing to do a full Oracle card spread. And then there's an extended link right in the description box that will lead you to a full Tarot card spread and romance reading. Aquarius, welcome back. And once again, thank you so much for your support. For those of you who are on platforms that allow for commercial breaks, there's going to be one coming up in a couple of seconds. After that, there will be no more commercials to interrupt the messages. Once again, I want to thank you for your donation to the channel because when you watch the commercial, you're making a donation to the channel because that commercial helps to sponsor the channel. And that's just the truth. And I'm, I'm grateful. So I'll be back in 30 seconds. Now, to those of you who just sat through an awkward pause, thank you oh so much. <laughs> to those of you who actually sat through a commercial, thank you, thank you oh so much. Aquarius, let's get into your reading. Now, this is for Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, or whatever place in your natal chart that Aquarian energies influence. So that could be any one of your houses. You, just, you let me know. As long as you understand that these energies are for Aquarian energies, you can place it in any place it belongs in your natal chart. Aquarius, Aquarius, for August 10th through the 17th of 2019, Aquarius 10th, Aquarius, 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 uh, did I say August? <laughs> I clearly want summer back, Aquarius, Aquarius, November 10th through the 17th of 2019, 10th through the 19th. 10th to the 17th of 2019, including that Taurus full moon that's going to be happening uh, on the 12th in two days from now. Aquarius energy for November 10th through the 17th of 2019. Aquarius energy for November 10th through the 17th of 2019. 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 All right, we got your we got your cards up here. Okay. Interesting. I think that I think that there's some sort of walls being broken down or masks coming off. Something revealed, something sort of exposed, something that ha was you were not so sure about a part of you maybe that you were not so sure about or somebody else that was basically making you feel stuck or holding you back has finally been revealed. These are the crowning energies because they're the ones that popped out. And these two cards are telling me straight out that there was something hidden that is sort of starting to be revealed and that you were stuck in a position because of what was hidden. And now you're able to move forward with its re revealing. Um, you know, this is a really interesting energy. The full moon is coming up, Aquarius, and it is definitely a time to release things. I think that this comes at a very wonderful time in terms of this energy for this week because clearly there is something that you need to let go of or want to move on from. It seems like that's what's happening. That you are moving on from a stage in your life where you felt maybe that you couldn't really be yourself or, or that... Not that you couldn't be yourself, but that you weren't living up to your full potential or that you weren't being your full self out loud, which sounds weird for Aquarius, right? Because most of the time, I'm sorry, somebody was stuck. Most of the time, Aquarius is, is, knows exactly who they are and what they're about. Act as if you don't have to pretend anymore. I think that's embrace the in-between you don't oh there was something that was unspoken and unsaid Aquarius there was something that wasn't completely owned or realized out loud or um you had maybe it was on the DL intentionally this week it's coming out you finally get to admit it say it out loud 
own it or or you finally want to share it right because you can be very private about what happens especially in your private life and that could have been the situation i'm not saying this is about love but this is about something that was very personal to you and it, it was almost like you were pretending in some way to you yeah you were pretending in order to keep it hidden um, this doesn't mean you were doing anything wrong. This doesn't mean anything shady. Of course, it could be something shady. And I, you know, but it doesn't mean that. What it does mean is that there was intention. There was something that you were keeping hidden because you, you didn't want to say it or you didn't want to share it. But now there's a sense of, I'm tired of it. I'm shedding that, I'm shedding that mask. I'm shedding that disguise. Maybe it's grown cumbersome for you. Maybe it's grown oppressive for you, or maybe you've just grown out of it. And now is the time that you can feel it or feel comfortable finally to say out loud what your intentions are. Now, this could be intentions for business. This could be intentions for love. This could be with any kind of intentions, but it's whatever it is, it's intentions for progress. Moving forward, you're coming out of this, not cocoon, but this sort of, um, um, I want the right words. It's not like you're, you're coming out of sort of this diminished lighting, the dimmed light, and you're stepping full into the spotlight, Aquarius. That's what's going on. But there is a feeling, like I said, that this was not just something that was forced on you. It was something that there was a little bit of intent. And that's why I'm thinking you didn't want this. I, that's why I feel, at least dealing with you guys, this was something personal because you're not the first ones to talk about your hardships or your worries. You know, you're always focused on making sure other people's hardships and worries are alleviated or lessened. So you, you really, when something is happening to you, not a lot of people know about it. And I think that this week there is an unveiling of this is what I was going through, or this is what I've been feeling, or, you know, this is what this person really means to me, or this was my idea. This is the manuscript I've been working on and now I want to sell it. Now I'm ready. There is, in other words, any of those scenarios would apply to this energy because there is an implication of you intentionally keeping something to yourself because either it wasn't ready or you were not ready to share it. This week, all of that makeup, all of that mask, all of that energy of staying in this sort of sort of pretending to be a little bit of uh, or or hiding things and keeping them in the in between without ever putting a label on them or committing to them that's going to end this week there's an energy of of revelation revealing letting things come out full moon if you if you know the tarot um if the the, the moon card reveals things that are hidden you know, um, pick your poison or different emotions that were waiting there and creeping. And the moon reveals what was hidden. And I think that that's what's happening in Taurus energy. It is going to feel, have a lightening effect on you because there was a sense of, I, I didn't want to hold on to this anymore. I didn't want to, I didn't want to wrap, be wrapped up in my shroud anymore. It was getting suffocating me in there. Um, you're definitely ready for this to shed off. I don't feel like this was imposed on you by somebody else, but there's many other cards on the table and I, I, I want to, I want to read them slow and steady wins the race and spirit has a plan. Yeah, this is an Aquarian energy. It's Buddha. Now Buddha was very benevolent and you know, the story of Buddha, how he was a prince and he went out into the world and saw he didn't understand suffering because he was always kept from it. But then he disguised himself and he went out in the world and, and he saw suffering and he saw what other people were living with and had to go through. And, you know, he created this, um, he, he wanted to develop ways that everybody could maintain to, could attain peace and, and enlightenment and, and beauty and harmony. And, and this, that's a very Aquarian energy. It's a very humanitarian for the greater good, for the better purpose, the higher perspective energy. So I feel like this is definitely you. And this was strategic, like the tortoise, not the hare. You were focused on winning the race. You weren't focused on somebody else. You weren't being jealous. You weren't being petty. You were focused on winning that race. And that's all that meant, that's all that meant to you. And it wasn't about winning. It was 
Well, it, it wasn't about winning. It was about finishing. It was about, I'm determined to do this. I know that I can. And you know what? This week is about going over the finish line. It's about everything that you've been working on, working on very hard. And including sometimes the hardest kind of work is patience. It is. It's something that very few people are able to master because patience takes focus and it takes faith. And focus and faith are what? The way that we channel energy and the way that we manifest. If you want to manifest and direct energy from the conceptual into the re real, you have to have faith and you have to have focus to direct that energy. And this is the story of the tortoise, the turtle. The first of all, owning your space, letting the waters wrap around you, going with the flow, swimming with the flow, that's faith. But also slow and steady wins the race, knowing that you don't have to rush to get there. That you're it's not about who arrives there the quickest. It's about who arrives and 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 what what the achievement is when you arrive. So this is a strategic plan to let things be slow for a while which may have seemed like they were mucky and in the in-between but they really weren't were they they were just becoming and that's why you didn't want to discuss them right now you didn't feel like revealing things right now why because they were growing you know it wasn't about like the tortoise didn't talk up the race the, the hare bragged about it to everybody right the tortoise didn't brag about it to anybody he just got on the road and started the race and every single day he kept up the race so it wasn't about bragging it wasn't about announcing it was about doing and this was the strategy Aquarius and that's paying off I really feel you guys coming across the finish line this week in this wonderful way of sort of self-satisfaction know your worth know your worth this is a card where if it's right side up it seems like there is somebody that's trying to stink up the garden and not trying to stink up the garden there is basically there's something that's trying to stay hidden like trying to make itself seem better than it is but this card is like an intentional stinker um so uh, know your worth I don't think it was you that didn't know your worth. I think it was other people who were questioning your worth or underestimating you because you weren't bragging. And you knew that. And that's what I feel like there's a little sense of higher perspective going on here where you had to have the self-control to say, it's not about what they think of me. Let them think of me what they want to think of me. I know who I am. I'm confident. I'm competent and I'm busy, right? If you're gonna if you're gonna try to impede me or harm me or take me down, then you're gonna need to get out of my way because I'm not gonna stop. I'm not. And I love that energy. Um, it does seem to be that there was a little bit of a stink bomb, that there was something or somebody that tried to get in your way and tried to in like almost demean your purpose or you know, what you're like, uh, like bring into question your actions or your values. Somebody who tried to do that to you the, either this week or recently so that this week it's about overcoming that or finally seeing them for who they really are. Because this also could be this um, a quasi malefic energy of, of um, somebody who disguised themselves as friendly or gave you advice that was intentionally misleading. So it seemed like it was there to help you or they were there to help you, but it really wasn't there to help you. It was sort of there to insult you or make fun of you, sort of throw dirt at you because they thought that they could. And you actually are able to see through this person this week. They are revealed, like I said, by the light of the full moon, the truth will be known. And I think this is what's happening. And the real, the revel, the realization. I, I don't see it hurting you, because in a way you're so focused on where you're going, that this little impediment, it's a bump, and you've gotten over it. I, I just see you being so driven, and so feeling good about your accomplishment that this little hiccup in the road, whatever this, whatever this was, it may have disappointed you a little bit, but it, it didn't deter you. The finish line is here. Now is a lucky time. Isn't that interesting? Now we have the tortoise and the hare. Isn't that interesting? But those energies are not opposing each other. They're actually working 
with each other this week. There's a beautiful balance and harmony. Now, in past weeks, your want to get things done could have been clashing with the slow pace you were stuck in. So this could imply that people that you were working with or somebody that you were courting was not was not up to tempo with how fast you wanted to move, was not going at the speed that you felt comfortable in. Um, and that's why you might have felt like not talking about it or maybe you felt it was the whole situation was compromised because you couldn't get on the same frequency and that's why you didn't want to talk about it because there seemed to be sort of red flags a little bit, at least sort of quasi red flags a little bit. And um, it, yeah, it seemed like things weren't going to work out or that you didn't really understand this person as well as you needed to. The two of you just weren't working. There was a little bit of discord. Um, but I see this week that cleaning up, that clarifying. And it's almost like this momentum for the turtle is that now it's you're near the finish line, in other words. And all the things that you've worked on is going to reap great rewards. There's, there's this beautiful, this is a very lucky card. This is a card of abundance. So see the fertility, lots of baby bunnies coming in. So you're multiplying this week, Aquarius. Uh, whatever this topic is, it's multiplying, it's working out, it's starting to gain momentum that you didn't have before. And this is a really beautiful energy for you because there might have been just a little part of you that was losing a little bit of confidence. And you probably did not talk about it. You probably kept that doubt or fear or frustration to yourself and you just kept showing up for work every day. But it was worrying you. There was some sort of worry that now has been alleviated this week. That's beautiful. Watch and wait. And I think you've been very, very patient. But this to me is another energy. This is an energy of maybe this other person, if you're dealing with another person, was waiting for you to make the first move. And the reason why you were stuck in between was neither of you wanted to say anything. This is water energy, specifically Piscean energy, Aquarius. Um, so maybe you're dealing with a Piscean um, or it's just water signs, you know, and there's Cancerian card is out here. Um, it just could be the mentality of somebody else that was not confident enough to come and say to you, I want this. So it's almost like you wanted either one or the other of you wanted to see where the other one stood before they made the full move because there was a little bit of doubt or question in your mind or this was your energy of just watching and waiting for the right time to come and i am feeling that that right time is now why very libra energy be here now it's now the time is now the time is right here right now somebody noticing your beauty even if it is um understated um but hummingbird isn't really understated is it it's beauty it's just they're small but they are very beautiful and almost hypnotic and i think that this is it this is the energy this week is that You've waited, you were patient, and that luck and fortune has finally arrived. Um, a breakthrough is finally being made in the sense of your own choice, of your own level of comfort, of you saying, hey, you know, maybe for a while, hey, you know, this is, this is the week I go talk to him or her. This is the week I ask him out for a date. Or, um, you know, this is definitely the week I'm gonna talk to my boss and you know lay, lay down my salary requirements and ask for that promotion or raise. Aquarius, this would be that week where you intentionally lied, lay low for a while because you wanted to gather some information. I will say this, there is still a little bit of shakiness on your part. So for some of you, this could be this energy of wanting to out things now. It could be jumping the gun. A little bit there's a lot of beauty here there's a lot of wonderful positive energy happening I don't think it's something that you have to force so it will happen on its own the revelation will come out on its own you don't have to be the momentum behind it I think what I'm saying is it is faded so for some of you who still feel a little bit like no this isn't the right time this isn't the right time it will come out on its own and it's unraveling now in other words that skin of the chrysalis is growing very very thin right so it's it's ready to expand its wings and come out the butterfly is here i'm just i'm just saying that in terms of you don't if 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 some of you are not ready then please don't force force yourself because 
it's not worth it and it's it's not the right time please just go with the flow have faith and trust the timing trust that these things are here and waiting for you so if you don't feel right right now just 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 go go with the right timing hold on i want to show you the cards crowning the energy was these this two energy these two energies in reverse and do you see chameleon and the the skunk on the flower is both in reverse which is telling me that whatever was hidden is now wanting to be revealed there was an intent somebody trying to hide their stink or hide their ugly underneath sort of these nice these niceties these 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 nicely flowers perfume but I don't feel this being malicious. I don't necessarily feel it being malicious. I feel it being intentional. That's what I'm saying. And Chameleon here is, he, uh, he's, he's, um, he's shedding his skin. He, he's tired of the disguise, act as if. He, he's, he, he's, do, he's done acting. He wants sincerity back. The acting is over with. This was just something that was temporary and now you're moving on from it, Aquarius. And where are you going to go? Well, to an opportunity that's already sitting there and waiting for you. Something that has been waiting for you and wanting you and asking you to come to it for quite some time and you're finally going to be able to put your energy into it and, and finally the momentum to go toward this opportunity or this person that was waiting for you can now be revealed and the floodgates can go. You can finally move in that direction. This was something that you knew about. It's something that you played a part in the strategy of, putting together of, and it's something that was waiting for you. It was an opportunity specifically for you, Aquarius. So that was very clear. This is now, this is the week. This is the week that you get to finally go toward this opportunity or person that was waiting for you or whatever this energy was that you were intentionally hiding, you now feel like you can come clean with it. I want to get a little bit into it, what it is, what the outcome of it, what it will be. Um, I'm going to do a full tarot spread. The link is below Aquarius. I'll see you there.